time to bring this thing back to life. What's up everybody? Um, so, like I said in the last video, today we are taking a break from the Passat because uh, I'm still waiting on some parts, but the pile is getting a little bit bigger right there on the bench. Uh, so yeah, like I said in the last video, there was an engine sitting kind of in the other corner of the shop, uh, and that's going to be the next project. So here it is. This is a, I think it's an AMB 180T. AMB 180T from a 2003 or something, A4. Um, so it's my friend's car. Uh, the cylinder head in his car is cracked. So rather than doing just the cylinder head, we're gonna kind of refresh this engine and uh, throw it in that car. So what we're doing is see, putting this in it and this, oh, and this, this is just a, SII delete plate, so, you know, emission stuff. Uh, there's a gasket for the cam chain tensioner. And then this, something I've always kind of been interested in, but ended up doing a 2.8 BR in my old rally cross car. But, hold on, let me try and do this one-handed. Oh. There we go. This. This is a text tectonics tuning 180 upgraded intake cam. Um, so it's apparently good for like seven horsepower and 10 foot pounds with no um, tune. And then with a tune, it's good for like a lot less horsepower, but like 12 foot pounds of torque. And it's not that expensive. So it's always been something I've kind of interested in seeing what it does with the 1AT and uh, yeah my friend was interested in putting it in his engine so I figured let's do it so what I'm gonna be doing is taking this thing apart um, probably gonna pull the harness off of this engine because the other one is better and if we have to switch connectors then we have spare stuff but I'm gonna be pulling all this part uh, you know pulling the secondary air and stuff off of it and then uh, yeah so I'll set up the Time lapse, and we'll just start tearing it apart, and then uh, we'll catch up with you when uh, something more important comes along that I have to describe. <laughs> As you can see, coils and everything are out. There is a lot of water in number two, and there's a bit in number four, so obviously some shit wasn't sealing right, but that's all gonna get dealt with, and lots of foliage and shit all over here, but the harness is completely off. Uh, I did take the commie valve off the back because it made it easier to get the coil harness out, so I'm gonna fire the plate onto that, and then uh, start dismantling this area a bit to start with the cam. To get that done because I need to get a valve cover gasket for it still but that's okay I can still get the cam in there and get that started and then just throw the valve cover back on and uh, yeah probably some other stuff along the way but not right now but yeah so anyway I'm gonna put the shit on and then I'll show you guys that and then we'll uh, get started on taking off the top of the engine Whew. all right so uh, GoPro is dying pretty quick, so I just kind of started going ahead and taking the valve cover and stuff off. Um, 
just know the timing belt and everything will be done, but like in water pump and shit. Uh, but that I'm leaving on for now because it makes doing the cam easier because we're doing this side, not this side. So anyway, I marked everything, paint dotted, paint dotted. And then, uh, yeah, the cover is loose. So pry bar and, uh, hold on here. Pry bar cover off. Let's put this over here for now. So just a quick double check, make sure your cam, this one, the intake cam, uh, get some light. I mean, if you're watching this, you probably know, but if you don't, there's a notch right there. That one will always be past the arrow, just a little bit. And then this one is always lined directly up at top dead center. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna just take, stay these off of here and expose the stock intake cam. So then I've already got the cam position sensor off. And now what we're gonna be doing is, actually this isn't even that bad of shape. Um, that has to come off, so uh, gasket's coming off. And then sort of what we do is you take the intake cam and the tensioner out at this, or the cam chain adjuster out at the same time. And you can like sneak them in and out together. And then I'll inspect the shoes on that just to be sure they're okay before we put it all back together uh but yeah and then uh, so i'm gonna do that because the gopro is dying so once things are apart i'll kind of get back to it uh one more thing i forgot to mention i just kind of tossed in there i was taking it or starting to work on it uh to do this you're gonna need the cam adjuster tensioning tool i guess or squishy tool so you just kind of there's a threaded hole down in the bottom and you can just thread this in and then it compresses the tensioner and gives the chain some slack so you can uh, see, you can see it falling down now. So you can squeeze the tensioner all the way down and then it actually threads into the tensioner. Okay, I'm recording this clip on my phone because literally the GoPro just died as you saw. Uh, so yeah, you just need that and you thread it down and then as you can see, oh, sorry, I'm trying to do this one handed. It's been a while. Uh, so yeah, as you can see there's slack in the chain now. So. Now you can remove the Cambridge caps or cam caps. So you gotta go this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, or actually it's this one, this one, this one, this one. And the middle, you go out and then back in is this way or sort of this way. Uh, anyway, there's a rhyme and reason to it. I do it right. And then, uh, uh, yeah, and then I'm gonna take this off and then it'll all slip out that way. So I'm gonna get to that and charge up the GoPro. So. I can get back to filming on that. All right, well, uh, it's another day. The GoPro died as I was tensioning the thing, the uh, <laughs> adjuster, uh, but I did get all the cam and everything. Like the intake cam is out, the adjuster is out. Uh, I just got to clean up the surface a little bit, but I don't have the valve cover gasket yet. But we're going to be getting the cam put in today. First, I want to unwrap it and show the comparison because I was looking at it and it's quite a bit different. There's a lot more. Uh, surface in the top and it looks like the, everything is quite a bit larger so i'm gonna unwrap it and uh we'll have a look and see what the differences are but i can definitely tell there's quite a bit of difference just by looking at it so i'm excited i'm excited because um i'm gonna have a 1.8t for uh the mark one cabbie back there and uh probably gonna be buying this for that because want every little advantage as you can right <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to unwrap it and uh, we'll see if we can see the difference on the GoPro. Okay, the cam's unwrapped. And uh, hold on, I'm just got to adjust everything here a little bit. But you can see the difference of the cams. The new one is a little bit taller, just a little bit, but it's got more meat everywhere. So you can tell it opens the valve up quite a bit more and for longer because of the top there. That's really pointy and this is more of a gradual roll so you can definitely tell it's going to open it up for more and a little bit longer than the stock cam so this should be good i'm excited for this uh so yeah i'm gonna get ready to lube up the journals on the cam and then i'll put some in the uh, cylinder head we'll try and slap this thing back together and get it in time so um instead of using some assembly lube like uh, i used to because i couldn't find any locally my parts guy said uh 
use uh, Lucas heavy duty oil stabilizer, you know, that shit you put in when you got really low oil pressure. So it should work good. He said he sells it to all the local shops to do it. So uh, yeah, gonna give it a shot. And I mean, the oil, other bottles like that big and this one's really big. So yeah, I'm gonna do uh, lube off everything here and then uh, drop the cam in, throw some more of this on, do the top of the camber or cam caps. And uh, hopefully I can get this thing in first try and in time without a problem. I still need like a cam seal and stuff, but I just want to get it back into place because I still need valve cover gasket and stuff too. But yeah, trying to just want to get the cam back in place and uh, get ready for the reassembly of everything. So I'm going to throw it on the time lapse and uh, yeah, we'll start uh, sending it here. All right, so cam caps are all down. I haven't torqued them yet. That's going to be next, but kind of hard to see. Uh, I think I said earlier the notch is usually over, but that's not right, and they do line up perfectly. It's this one. You count the link before it. So you go, uh, so I'm going to light here. So... Uh, it's hard to see, but there's a little notch on the gear. Um, and you count 16 links from the one before it. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, which lines up with the notch on this cam. So that's perfect. So we're in time. Um, yeah, so I'm going to torque them down uh, it's like 10 newton meters i think uh bust out the torque wrench torque them down and then uh, that is done the cam is installed and the gasket is changed and all that so yeah that's good so yeah i'm gonna set it up torque them down and then i think that'll be it for this because i'm still waiting on some other shit but uh little kind of impression of the the intake cam from tectonic tuning and like i said the start i'm definitely buying it for my uh my cabbie so yeah gonna torque them down and then uh, we'll just end it there so here we go and there we go it's all torqued up 10 newton meters everywhere you're supposed to do two and four and then kind of back and forth but yeah 10 newton meters everywhere i went over and rechecked everything after they're all done they're all good so there we go cam is installed this thing should be make for a pretty interesting difference i'm excited really excited but yeah so that's gonna be it for this one uh like i said still waiting on some parts for it but not gonna drag this one out um so yeah that's it for this there'll be more shit going on with it uh soon once uh they're getting some more parts but uh next video we'll be back on the tdi because like i said stuff's been rolling in and uh these those so yeah next one might just start it now and uh start filming for the next video but anyway thank you for watching and uh appreciate uh appreciate come and spend some time watching me uh, fuck around with stuff but uh yeah so hopefully you come back and watch more anyway thanks again see you on the next one peace